What's going on everybody? Today I'll be showing you all how to install shaders onto Minecraft. Um, it's actually a very simple process. It'll only take 10 or 15 minutes. Um, if you don't know what shaders are, it's basically a mod that you install that makes your Minecraft look a lot nicer. Uh, it took me a really long time to figure out exactly how to do this because I'd get glitches or whatever, but I figured I'll make a video to show you guys how to do it. So let's show you. There's two things that We'll, be, well, there's a bunch of things that we'll be installing, but two different types of shaders, basically. The first one, it's a shader that you use with basically any other texture pack. Um, as you can see, blocks have shadows. You know, your person has a shadow. Um, you, know, you dig down, there's shadows going down like that. But this one is for use with a different texture pack. Uh, right now I have Sphinx Craft on, and then I'll show you with Doku Craft change around the texture pack. These are two texture packs they are very popular. A lot of people use them and uh, I do like them. But yeah, I see it works with Doku Craft. Your guy's a shadow. And you know, there's shadows like that. Um also the grass does move. If I could find some grass. But yeah, you can see that it moves slightly. Doku Craft it's you know hard to see because the grass is um you know it's very hard to see. But um it does look uh, you know, you can see it better on Sphinxcraft. And then the other shader is, uh, you can change it from here. It's, uh, it's to be used with a specific texture pack. If I could find it. Okay, so it's this one. Let's use that. And it also looks really nice. It's basically the default Minecraft texture pack. But with a bunch of stuff added on, you can see there's shadows. You know, the water looks really nice. I mean, if you like the default Minecraft texture pack, just it looks really nice of this. The grass is moving, and then the trees also move on this. Uh, as you can see from that, the trees don't move on the other shader with you know the texture packs, but it looks really really nice. Um, you know if you you can decide what one you want to use and then use it, but I'll be showing you how to install both of them. Um, so basically, let me just X out of that quick game. First off, just make sure you have all these downloaded. I'll put them in the description, some download links from. And then for Optifine and GLSL shaders, make sure you've extracted them to here. And then these can stay zipped or whatever. Um, and then another thing before you do this is make sure that you have all the saves, you know, your world saves, um, copied to some other location so that, um, you know, we're going to be basically resetting your Minecraft in this video. So that you can, you know, access those worlds and um, use them at a later date when, you know, the mods are all installed. So what you're going to want to do is click, is do percent app data. You just type this into the start menu and then do percent. And you'll be brought to this folder. Click on the dot Minecraft. Um, you're going to want to delete this folder. Um, so, this, you know, you're going to see you have your bin, your resources, saves, shaders, ta stats texture packs and you know, I have all this in here you actually probably will not have the shaders one and then there's a few others you might not have because you don't have Optifine installed yet well actually you might but I'll show you how to install it if you don't so we're just going to want to delete this um, oh yeah another thing you, know, you can just exit here another thing you want to have WinZip, 7-Zip or WinRAR those are three very popular uh, programs. You're going to want to have that. I was able to get the full version by completing an offer on their website, but yeah, just get one of those. Um, another way to reset your Minecraft is just to go Minecraft and then do Force Update. Um, you know, enter your information. Uh, I typed that wrong. Um, but yeah, enter your login and just log in. Alright, so it'll update Minecraft, basically install a whole new Minecraft, um, you know, all your achievements are gone, your single player world is gone, so just before you do this, make sure you have everything you want saved. Okay, you can next out of that. So, what we want to do first, you want to do percent app data, percent, and click on your dot Minecraft, go into your bin, and then you're going to see this, it's a Minecraft, it's a jar file. Um, you want to right click on it and do open with WinZip, uh, WinRAR, or 7-Zip, whatever one you have. 
Again, I have WinZip, so just open it, and this is all the stuff in your Minecraft. Looks confusing, but trust me, it's not that bad. <laughs> um, so what you want to do first is open up the Optifine folder. Uh, you know, I'll just click on one of them and do Control A, and they'll all be selected. And just drag and drop these into your Minecraft.jar. It'll take a few seconds. You know, depending on what you're using, just click OK and OK. You can get out of that. And then open up the GL GLSL shaders folder. Make sure you're doing the extracted version folder. And just drag and drop those all into there. Um, click OK and OK. You can X out of that. Now, what you want to do, this is a very important step in this, because if you don't do this, uh, when you log into your Minecraft, you'll just get a black screen. So you're going to want to delete the meta inf folder. It's very important that you do this. Um, it'll take a few seconds to delete, and just press OK. Now you're going to X out and save your, you know, save the changes to this. So basically we do have a modified Minecraft.jar uh, file. And you can see that it's modified, because if you go to percent app data, um, you know, go into your Minecraft bin and then your jar, it's modified at a later time than all the other stuff in here. So you have that first step done now just to make sure that it's installed correctly. Just go into your, dot mine, your Minecraft game and it'll load to here and you'll see all this extra stuff. You'll see shaders and if you go into your video settings there's a bunch of other stuff. That's basically what Optifine is. Um, so now you can just quit out of there. Now for this part you're going to need two things. Just the Seuss and the Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. Um, go back to percent app data. I can't type today. And click on your dot minecraft and go to your shaders. Now we can just bring it over there. Open up the Seuss folder. You're going to see two um, files in here. One is a texture pack and one is the shadows. Um, you're going to want to drag and drop this one into your sh uh, your shaders folder. Um, and then go to your texture packs and drag and drop the texture pack into there. Basically these two work hand in hand and you should use them together. Now if you want to use a different texture pack, for example DokuCraft, you're going to want Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. Let's go into your shaders and copy and paste this. You can drag and drop it if you want. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste it though so I have a file on my desktop of it and you're going to see it's there and you can use it with another shader if you don't know how uh, not with another shader with another texture pack if you don't know how to get another texture pack I'll show you how to put a texture pack into your minecraft but I'll just put it in your texture packs I'll show you with uh, sphinx and dokucraft uh, just drag and drop them into there really really simple um, just X out of that. Now you're done. And to verify that it works, just go into your Minecraft. You know, log in, go into your world or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how to get the shader on. Go to options, go to shaders. Select this one if you want to use it with the texture pack that's in, you know, included. If you want to use that one. Um, yeah, just select that. And then for the texture pack, oops, I didn't mean to click on that. Do this one, and they'll basically work side and side, you know, hand in hand, whatever you want to call it. And I'll just create a new world, show you that it worked. Um, hopefully, I'm not in the jungle biome. That's good. You know, jungle biomes don't really show it really well. So the water looks nice. You got a shadow. So there's sun rays. If I could get it at a good angle, well, the sun does have rays if you can get it at a good angle, which is nice. But um. You know, there's moving grass, if I could find some. Not sure if these things move. Okay, no, they don't. But yeah, there is moving grass. The trees move as well. I'll show you some trees. Um, and if you are playing multiplayer, the other pre uh, people on the server will have a uh, shadow. So, grass does move. So, it looks really, really nice. Um, and then I'll show you with the texture pack what you got to do. Let's go to options, go to shaders, and then select this one. And then you can select the texture pack that you would like to use. I'll show you with DokuCraft. Just, you know, I've already shown you, but just to uh, show you again to make sure that it worked. You know, you got shadows from the blocks. Animals have shadows. You have a shadow. The grass does move, although it is hard to see because of DokuCraft. And I'll just show you with Sphinxcraft as well. You just change your texture pack. 
It's going to take a while for Sphinxcraft to load up because it's a 256 by 256 texture pack. I probably should have showed you with the 128 by 128 version so it would load a bit quicker. But, you know, click done. It's going to take a while to load as well. But, you know, once that's done loading, you can just go back into your world. Um, with Optifine, you do have a option to change your texture pack while you're actually in the world. I would recommend against that because, you know, it's it, it has a really weird rendering system. Like, it'll only render a little bit. And then if you destroy a block, um, it'll render that. So, just, you know, exit out of your game to change it. That's what I would do. As you can see, the grass looks really nice. Shade, uh, with, you know, it's moving. You have a shadow, and it just works really nice. Um, as you can see, I have the, you know, achievements are reset. So, as I said, just make sure you have a save of all your worlds or whatever, so that you can easily get them after you're done with the shaders. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to put the links for download in the description. And if you have any, um, you know, concerns or, you know, say your Minecraft is lagging, put your computer specs in a comment, and I'll find some good settings for you to play Minecraft on with this, because it will make your computer uh, run Minecraft slower just because of all the extra stuff um, that you have loaded. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you do have any questions, just ask me and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video helped you out, and uh, yeah. Alright, thanks everyone.